Hey everybody, thanks for clicking on the video. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the ins and outs of my favorite finesse smallmouth bass fishing technique, the Ned Rig. We've got some big tips for you guys and we're about to unlock your smallmouth bass catching potential right now. Let's go. Created in the Midwest by Ned Keddy about eight years ago, this smallmouth bass finesse presentation has taken off and literally become smallmouth's worst nightmare. Doesn't matter scenario, it catches them in the cold, it catches them in the heat, it catches them in the fall, winter, summer, spring, it doesn't matter. Tie a Ned Rig on, you're gonna start catching fish. So often the fish are gonna hit the Ned Rig on the drop. If you see your line stop moving, you see it jerk, if you see it skip, you're, you're gonna notice. Just watch your line as that Ned Rig is sinking because a lot of the time they hit on the drop. There we go. That's decent, nice. There you go. Respectable little guy. A little thick. There you go. Thanks, bud. Hey. He just realized he's hooked. <laughs> nice. Just like that. Just stacked up in these rocks. Gotta love them. This little spot looks too mint not to cast into. This little pocket here. Hello, anything in there? Oh yeah, there you go. Hello, ranked it. My go-to for Ned Rig always is braid to fluoro. You get the hook setting power and durability of the braid, and then at the same time, the strength and invisibility of the fluorocarbon. There you go. Ah, oh, I saw him right there. It's the thing. You don't want to hook set too hard. You want to sweep them. You want to make sure those hook points are always sharp because you set too hard, you're just going to rip it right out of their mouth or straighten the hook if it's a bigger fish. Got to keep in mind, these are really light wire hooks we're using here. So drag management is literally the name of the game. There you go. That's two different styles today. Got them a little cross style. Got them on the TRD. There you go. Oh, that's a pike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, even the pike like the Ned Rig. Oh no, he just broke off. There you go, I got my Ned Rig back. <laughs> Perfect. So for the jig head, I'm just uh, tying a polymer knot. I find that's the best. Just get her moistened up there, pull her tight, make sure everything's kosher. She's gonna stand on the bottom just like that. Those tentacles are gonna flail. Just beautiful, I love it. Metric so simple. I mean, get your lights set up. You cast it out, let it drop to the bottom. If nothing hits on the drop, slowly work it back to you. You don't even have to move it. If you're using any sort of plastic and you're using a Ned Rig jig head, it's gonna stand up perfectly on the bottom. And just even with its natural movement by itself, it's gonna move, it's gonna sway. Such free flowing bait in the water. There you go. Nice. Good one. Yeah, they're, they want the big TRD today, boys and girls. This guy's a dancer. That, eh? I just scooped that thing, man. Beautiful, beautiful smallie. Look how stretchy these baits are. This is why they last so long. It's unbelievable. And the thing is, is as it gets chewed up, it releases all this salt, all this texture, and all this friggin' scent. So the baits just get better as you're using them. There, yeah, we're gonna let it sink. You can see my line just slightly sinking there. We're down at the bottom now. And we're just gonna, there we go, there's a fish. That's a good fish. Didn't even move it. Just let it sink to the bottom, let it sit there for a minute. Didn't even move it. This guy's good. This guy's dogging. Nice. Get out of there, bud. Nice fish. Nice, there we go. Little thick guy. Can't complain. You saw that, I cast it in, I let it sink. I didn't even move the damn bait, didn't even move it. And I just picked up and there was resistance. You're gonna find like 80% of the time, that's literally what's gonna happen. They go after that bait so quickly, they scoop it up. Before you even know it, you're gonna lift your rod to go for your first jig, your first twitch, and there's gonna be a fish there. I like letting it sit there. When it lands, I'll let it sit there for a minute, let it do its thing naturally, and I'll pick up. And there's a fish. Look at that. Ridiculous, man. 
The Ned Rig, guys, I'm telling you, if you haven't fished it, you're missing out. And I mean, we're not talking just smallmouth. We're talking largies. We're talking walleye. We're talking clearly pike. It just imitates so many friggin' things. It's so, so deadly. This sums up the Ned Rig right here, guys. You're casting out. Easy, easy, easy. Boom, hits the water. We're letting it sink. And watch my line, see if it twitches, anything like that. Right now, the fish are staring at it. Chances are the fish has the bait in its mouth already, but I'm gonna let it sit there. We're gonna do some little twitches, and there we go. Look at that, guys. Unbelievable. That's a nice one. Are you spinning my boat? <laughs> this is what we came for. This is what the Ned Rig does, man. It just friggin' catches them. Thanks for playing, bud. Once you find the fish, put a Ned Rig on, sit back and just have fun, man. Get the kids hooked up. Literally cast out and let it sit there. How easy is that? Come on now. There we go. Oh. That's a good little pull. Oh, that's a beast, yeah. That's decent. Oh, that's decent. Let's get the net for this guy. He's a net fish for this area. Look at him go. Oh, there goes my glasses. Fuck me. Oh, come here, bud. You better be worth it. Oh, that's worth it. That fish is worth it. What a beauty, guys. Beauty, little stacked smallies, man. I love it. Look at that milky eye. Oh, come on, bud. These are my go-tos when I'm fishing the Ned Rig. These are gonna be great everyday options that you can just use, go to, match the hatch in terms of color. Generally, I just like to pick the most natural looking color that I'm gonna be fishing in that water. If I'm not getting any hits, I'll just switch it up to a different color. I'll try a different size. If I'm fishing an area like this today with a river system, there's a lot of rock, things like that. I'll turn to the little craw and bug options from Z-Man. And one of my favorites all around is the big TRD. It's a slightly bigger bait profile. If you want to switch it up a bit, you can also go with the hula stick. The reason why I always come back to Z-Man is because of that Elastec, baby. This is a reason why I can use the same bait all day. Absolutely ridiculous. And then it just comes right back to the same way it was before. Again, not sponsored by Z-Man, but damn, they make a good product. <laughs> There we go, guys. What a beauty, eh? Just scrappy as hell. Awesome. There you go. Scrappy dudes, man. That's a beauty. Beauty, friggin' smally, man. That's how we do. Gotta friggin' love it, man. Smallies all day. And we're gonna grab one of these TRD hogs in the mud bug color. So this thing is a little different, it looks more like a bug, very articulated. I friggin' love this thing. Here's one. Nice. First one of the day on the bug. Yeah, decent fish too. What? Ah, come on. Yeah, it's all right. Self-release, I'll take it. Also freaking love colors like this tequila sunrise, I like to call it. Pretty deadly, especially on overcast days like this when you want something that's gonna stand out a little bit in the water. This color will do the trick. Check this out. There you go. Nice. Acrobatic. Respectable little smallie. He wanted a piece of that to keep. Whoa, okay, there he goes. Little guy. Hey, bud. Getting that slurpy, eh? Hard to believe that that drone was four feet underwater the other day. Damn it. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm fucking stuck and my drone's almost out of battery. <laughs> Yes, sir. Thanks, Doyle. Fuck. It's fine. Can you believe that? Tried to dry it out in the vents, in the sun, threw it in a bit of rice, and lo and behold, today she's flying perfect image. I don't understand. Electronics are crazy like that. We're now gonna give the little bugs a shot. 
Yep, there we go. Beauty, 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 beauty. Awesome, all day. Absolutely choked the bug. Another beauty smallie all day, man. Just crushing them, eh? Oh. GoPro, start recording. Just as we got unhooked from the rock. Friggin' chunk. Look at this guy. What up? Oh, you're a nice smallie, bud. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Right in the shallows. Look at that. Awesome. And that's why the Ned Rig is my absolute number one finesse bass presentation. Hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed the video today. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you at the next spot.